Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a demonstration to share with you today. We are using this book as inspiration for our mineralogy unit and today we're going to be combining chalk with an acid, which is vinegar. But first I want to share with you that chalkboard chalk isn't actually naturally occurring chalk, but I did order some off of Amazon. This is edible chalk. We are not going to be eating it, but we are going to be using it for this demonstration. So this one is quite a bit more chalky versus actual chalk that we use on our chalkboard and the composition is different. So first I just want to show you that I am using some chalkboard chalk as well as some chalk pastel which I use on my chalkboard as well as in some of our books as well. This is what the natural chalk looks like. It looks almost the same as chalkboard chalk but it does feel different as I'm using it on the chalkboard. So I'm just going to cut up about a teaspoon of chalk for this project and try to do equal amounts of the other bases that we're using. I also have some baking powder that I'm going to be mixing with vinegar as well as baking soda, which I am sure you have seen baking soda and vinegar together, but we're going to be doing it in comparison with, with all of these different materials. I have my vinegar and I'm just going to be using about a quarter cup to mix with each of these different materials. So the first one we're going to do is baking soda and we're going to go kind of slowly because we already know what happens and that just fizzes quite a bit. It's quite exciting to see and to hear. And we, I went ahead and added the rest of it, but we pretty much have experienced this one before. So it's just to give us a comparison. Now we're going to be mixing baking powder and vinegar and you get a similar reaction, but it's a little bit slower. Baking powder has a powdered acid already mixed with it. So I feel like it slows down the process a little bit when you add vinegar. So now we're going to be adding our vinegar to our chalk and I've got our chalkboard chalk as well as our chalk pastel and both of them react pretty similarly. You see that there isn't a lot of bubbling. There is a little bit of bubbling I think with the air pockets that are within the chalk but not much else. But here's the exciting one, adding vinegar to our natural chalk and we do see quite a bit of bubbling, not as much as baking powder and baking soda, but quite a bit more, significantly more than chalkboard chalk, which is no longer just naturally occurring chalk. We did this demonstration to illustrate how rainwater, which is only mildly acidic, can start to wear away at different rocks, especially limestones and chalks, which you can see from this demonstration react quite heavily. After 10 minutes, we can see that not much has happened to our chalk and our baking soda and our baking powder have stopped bubbling and our natural chalk as well. So we're going to try two more things. Plaster of Paris, we're going to add a little bit of vinegar to watch that reaction. And once we mix it, we can see that it does bubble up quite a bit, but not in the same kind of reaction that baking powder and baking soda gave. So I also have some cow bone. This is a supplement and we're going to add our vinegar to that as well. And if you'd like to see how vinegar affects bone after a full day, you can check out the blog post that accompanies this video so that you can see the tracking of that project. I hope that you enjoyed this look at a demonstration for our mineralogy unit. If you'd like to check out the blog post that accompanies this video, you can find that link in the description box below. And if you'd like to see some of the other projects we're doing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.